I'm gonna throw on my new shades that I just got today because they're really sick. How am I going to phrase this? Okay, here we go. Oh man, I'm already sweating. I'm already sweating like a pig. So I'm sure I could preface this differently, but here we go. First things guys notice about women. I think that's good. I think that's good enough. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot, where I talk a lot and you listen a lot. And unfortunately, tonight I am not drinking with you guys. I drank way too much over this past weekend. It was Memorial Day weekend. I may have drank a few too many. So now I'm on a shitty juice cleanse. I have no idea why. Apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, ginger, kale, parsley. Honestly, that would taste great with vodka. So I'm what the girls call a little Delulu. Anyways, so this past weekend I went out um, to a club. I had such a good time with some new friends. I met some new friends. I was so happy to just like go out and experience something different than what I'm used to already. You know, it's so easy to be like, mm, I wanna sit inside and just kind of stick to what I know and be comfortable. But I was like, you know what, Troy, you're getting out of the house. Let's go make some new friends. Uh, you know, some new people invited me out and I was like, fuck it, let's do it. So I went out, we uh, went out in Venice in LA, which was actually a lot of fun. I didn't think Venice would be like so cool. Uh, we went to some clubs, we went to some bars and there were a lot of pretty girls. So many new faces and girls I hadn't seen before and it was so fun because like, I think they could tell that I was new to the scene. So a lot of them actually came up to me and approached me, which was fun. With that being said, as I was kind of walking around, I took a mental note of the first things I noticed about girls. For this episode, I'm gonna keep it strictly physical because that kind of you know starts the initial attraction. Obviously, a guy going up to a girl who he thinks is cute is solely based off of appearance. I mean, you don't know anything about them most of the time. So basically, this episode is just gonna be a list of what men initially notice in women. So let's get right into it. I always say let's get right into it. I talk way too much, but anyways, we're actually getting right into it. Here is my list that I wrote on my phone. <laughs> Some I actually wrote at the club, others I finished today. Again, this is just based off of your physical appearance. I tried to list them in like a specific order of what I look for. I feel like I could kind of speak for like a general crowd of the guys, but um, again, you know, everyone has their own opinion. This is mine, but I'd say like the first five are pretty standard of what guys look for. And then after that, it, uh, you know, it varies and they're just kind of all over the place. So here we go. First things guys notice about women. Here's my list. Number one is your smile. I'm just a huge, huge fan of teeth. Like if you have a great smile and you have beautiful teeth, oh my goodness gracious. A genuine, pure, just adorable smile makes us guys just melt every freaking time. It's so simple and it's so small, but like just a smile. A, a good smile goes a long way in any guy's playbook. If you have good teeth on top of it, Oh, chef's kiss. Good teeth, a good smile. Just marry me now. Teeth is like a big first one for me, which a lot of guys will argue that number two, the eyes, I'm gonna take my glasses off for this one. A girl with just beautiful eyes is, uh, mm. I don't wanna say chef's kiss again because I already said it, but the chef's kiss. What do they say? Like the eyes are the window to the soul or something like that just eyes can just speak a million words. Like if they're colored, more power to you. I personally love colored eyes, but there's nothing wrong with just beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. If you have good eyes, if you get hold good eye contact too, I'm, that's, I'm throwing that in there just as a side. If you get hold good eye contact, mm. I hope that you understand what I mean when I go, mm. Eyes and teeth should be kind of tied for first place, but I'm being a little biased. Teeth, eyes, oh. I'm gonna throw back on my glasses. Number three, I'm a huge fan of lips. Like if you have good, kissable, just juicy, voluptuous, succulent, thick, yummy, delicious, that is so gross, that sounds so gross, but you know what I mean, just like big, juicy lips. Oh my God. To me, it just, it makes me think that you're a good kisser and that's kind of like the sexual attraction there. So if you have beautiful teeth, gorgeous eyes, and nice lips, <sighs> You're dangerous. Number four, this is a big one, is your physical appearance. Do you take care of yourself? Are you in shape? Do you look good? That's a big one for me because someone who takes time out of their day to become the best version of themselves is sexy. So if you're hitting the gym, keep it up, babe. You're killing it, you're doing great. Next up, number five. Wow, we're kind of flying through these. Can I just be a guy for a second? Let's just be honest and let's be real. Boobs and butt. 
boobs and butt, ladies. That's just how men are programmed. We do appreciate a little bit of the won't won't and the won't won't. Give us a little something to grab onto when I'm just spank. But yeah, if we're being totally honest, like guys are guys. We do obviously check out your boobs and we do check out your butt. Some guys are more boob guys. Some guys are more ass guys. I personally am more of an ass guy, but I do appreciate a nice upstairs. I don't know why I said upstairs. I just appreciate looking at your boobs. Yeah, on to the next. I think this is uh, six or seven. I don't know. I always get lost when I'm doing these things. Um, hair. I love, I love good hair. I love brunettes. I love blondes. I love redheads. I love black hair. I, I appreciate looking at a, you know, a good head of hair. And I appreciate grabbing it too. What? Guys look at hair as much as girls admire a guy with good hair. Okay, I think this is seven. On a seven. Okay, seven's a big one. Seven's a really big one for me. Guys really notice how women carry themselves. A girl you've never seen before walks into a pregame. It's a little bit more intimate, so that's why I'm using that as an example. I really notice how you carry yourself. Are you confident or are you shy? Like, how do you command the presence in a room? Do you walk in and you're kind of just like, you know, looking down on your phone like this and like do you hang out like in the corner of the party and not really talk to anybody or are you just like that bad bitch that like walks in just like chest out knows she's hot knows her worth and know what she's all about and she just walks around and she just introduces herself and she's you know social and outgoing I, not everybody's outgoing so you don't need to be like what up bitch like i'm here but it's like what energy do you bring into a room like are you commanding the attention or are you deflecting the attention off of you i personally love a girl who's like very confident she's like bad bitch energy my friends are always like oh yeah no i i didn't like that girl she was such a bitch meanwhile i'm like really that's what i loved about her like i love that she was like untouchable and like i had to put in extra work to like really like you know, make her laugh or get her attention. Like, I think that's hot. With that being said, how a girl carries herself is a really big one for me. And for a lot of guys, obviously. I'm speaking for the, the masses out here. Number eight, number eight, number eight. Mm. I don't know if I should throw this one in here, but like your smell, like your scent. Actually, that's a good one. That's a good one. If you smell good, oh man, like guys, guys remember that. When you come walking in with like your signature fragrance or perfume, guys eat that shit. Up. It doesn't matter where you go. Like, if you just smell good, man. Ladies, that also means please have good hygiene. Please have good hygiene. There's nothing worse than talking to someone who has bad breath or you could tell has a little BO. That is such a major turnoff. I haven't experienced it much, but I can't sit here and say I haven't experienced it. I'm so big on smell. Like, I'll go to the gym and I'll spray cologne on it. So, yeah, smell. Ladies, smell good. You know that perfume I'm talking about. Anyways, number nine. This would be higher on my list usually, but I don't think guys notice it as much as I do. I always look at a girl's legs. I don't know why. My checklist is like teeth, eyes, lips, legs. Like, those are like the first four things I look at. Um... I feel like legs kind of goes hand in hand with your body. Legs are hot. Legs are sexy, especially when they're in like stiletto heels. Ooh. Last but not least, this is a big one too. Style. Style tells us men a lot about you. I think it's a way that people express themselves and show, you know, what they're all about. Style's hot. You could, you could make or break someone based off their style. You ever see like extreme home makeover? Yeah. It, that's basically it. It's like you can have a house with a good foundation, but if it's just not like styled properly, it, it's just not as flattering as like when they go in and like sauce it up and, you know, make, make it look good. It's just like, I always look at shoes. I feel like you could tell a lot about a person based off of their shoes. Here's my explanation. A girl can be wearing like a cute little sweatsuit. It's nothing serious. It's not, you know, it's nothing too flashy, but her shoe choice is what really brings it all together. But style in general, just if you have good style, that could turn you from like an eight to a nine. Like so, like, like so fast what good style does is it helps like accentuate it's accentuate is that how you say it it helps accentuate your assets and girls you know exactly what you're doing so yeah style is probably number 10 on my list yeah there's my there's my list i know it was quick it's just like bang 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 it's pretty self-explanatory that's my list again you don't need to have all of them so if you're not like oh i don't have like you know I have like brown eyes, my lips are like small, but like I have a great head of hair and like a nice rack. Like, <laughs> babe, trust me. And we were all born completely different and some people have certain things and not necessarily others. Imperfections are perfections. Do not feel like, oh, I don't have those. So like guys don't find me attractive. That is so far from the truth. You are perfect just the way you are. 
Anyways, I had a lot of you guys email me. Let's get into some of the emails, shall we? Damn, some of them are just so long. All right, here we go. This is our first one by A. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say A, so you know who I'm talking about. A. Here we go. A said, "Advice about my crush. I play club volleyball for my university, and there's a guy on the guys' team that I've had a crush on for over a year. He's super nice and a genuine person." I just recently snapped him to try and spark a conversation. These snaps have had quite a bit of time between both parties, five plus hours to be exact, mostly because I'm nervous to respond. <laughs> That's cute. But they seem like a genuine answer to questions and not like he's trying to push me off. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know if I should try to pursue this more. It's hard because if it goes badly or I embarrass myself, I have to see him again. I'm on the quieter side and it's hard for me to express my feelings. He also seems out of my league because he's inside of a popular, popular, click of people between the teams i'm not quite sure if he likes me as a person and and he's being nice or a potential relationship any advice or tips would help i'm stressing out over here mm. well babe what you're doing is you're putting yourself in the friend zone just letting you know right now if you're not very clear with your intentions sometimes guys are fucking stupid and we'll just like roll with it if you really like him make a move and put the ball in his court, be direct and see how he responds. So if you're like, hey, like we should go grab coffee or we should go grab lunch, you know, or if you play volleyball, you're like, hey, let's go hit the ball around at the beach. I think by you being a little bit more direct and showing him your intentions, um, you will know whether or not he wants to be friends or possibly more than friends based off of his, his response. What do you have to lose? Some guys are just bad at taking hints. So put the ball in his court, see how he responds. I think he'll know very soon um, if he likes you or just sees you as a friend. Okay, here we go. So this one is from E. I'm gonna address you as E. Relationship story and question. Hi, Troy. So I went out with this guy a couple of times a while back and then I ended up back to my ex during that time as well. What an intro, all right. I was breaking up and getting back together with my ex quite a bit, which was not healthy. Yeah, no shit. I love you, though. I didn't know if I was supposed to move on or not, but finally I did. Thank God. Haha. Ha. Anyways, how do guys usually feel when you tell them no more than a few times because of going back to your ex or not feeling a romantic connection with them? Do they need time to be interested in me again, or will they just ignore me and not trust me knowing that I didn't want them two or three other times? This guy is not showing as much interest in me right now because he knows I've been keeping my options open and I had... Wow, you're a walking red flag, but I love you. And I had issues with going back to my ex and breaking up with him way too often. This guy went on a date with, wanted me all to himself, and told me to break up with my shitty ex, of course. I love that. Good for him. However, he doesn't want to have to think about me being with another man or entertaining other men while I'm talking to him, which makes sense. How do I go about hanging out with him again if he doesn't think I'll choose to be with him for the rest of his life? And if I don't choose him, then he might not want to do anything with me anymore. But that's just part of finding the right person that I want to spend the rest of my life with, right? All I know is this man is looking for a woman that he can make his wife and have a family with. I might not be the woman to give him that, but it's worth to try and see again what our connection was like and if it's worth keeping. Sincerely, E. I'm sorry, I love you, but I'm totally siding with the other guy. I always say they do come around, but once you break their trust, it, that's tough. That's really tough. He sounds supportive. Sounds like a great guy. I, I don't see any red flags within him. I'd say the only thing you can really do is just reach out, try to go out with him and explain your feelings. I think honesty is the best policy. So just take him out and try to open up and be real and honest with him and see how he takes it. I think you'll be surprised with what he has to say. So will I honestly, so please let me know. But yeah, in this situation, just honesty is the best policy. Honestly, he sounds like a great guy. So... You know, I don't know why you'd go back to someone who I guess didn't treat you so well as opposed to this guy. I know it's comfortable, but sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone in order to broaden your horizons and meet new awesome people. So anyways, yeah, honesty is the best policy. I'd say get together with him and just explain your mindset and what you're going through. And I think you'd be surprised with his reaction. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my laptop's about to die. I'm on 2%. So I'm going to wrap up. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Troy Talks A Lot. I'm currently probably in Barcelona right now, if you're watching this. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, I respond to all the comments, and if you have any personal questions you'd like me to touch on in any future episode, my email is in the description below. Oh shit, it's 1%. My email's on the description below, so just go send me an email and I'll respond. Anyways, I love you, I love you. Um, I'm taking off, and... And... Scene. Bang. Wow, and it just died.